WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the 5th of August, and uh, with the uh, uh, with the economic report and everything, with the market pulling back really sharply at the open, all of a sudden we're only down six in the Dow, up down 11 in the S&P. The one-minute uh, E-mini shows you that we went to this peak F-top at 10.15, and now we've gone sideways, making the 200-period moving average of 41.37 a key support level just short-term. Let's just go to all the numbers right now. We're looking at uh, the QQQs are down 276. Uh, it made a leg E, probably a peak E today, but holding really well in the upper range above three, uh, 318. It's really a three, 321. The 318 level is going to be important to pull back under that. Says, whoops, you can go for another couple of days digesting these big gains. Looking at the Dow in Indu, there we go. The Dow is down 28 to 32,698. Good action, but not great action in the sense that after the uh, peak D that was made in Chapman Way, the fourth highest peak, uh, back on, um, that, what day was that? That was on the 1st of, of August at 32.972. It's just gone sideways, but it has gone sideways under all the conditions that we've, we've spoken about right now, and that's a good sign. That makes the, uh, th uh, 30, the 32.500s pretty important support short-term, very short-term, near-term, I call it. E-mini trading down 15 at 4136 after the two uh, highs that were uh, high, the high of 4147 the other day. Whoops, 4141. And let me get that right. Sorry, it was 4167 uh, the other day. Now what we're looking at is it's trading at 4136, a digester phase, and it makes the 44,090. Level really important support QQQ. I think I just did. So let's go to the IWM, the Russell 2000. Now I'm going to mention right now that I am going to be doing the next hour, and this hour will change next week because Larry Pazavento will be back, but he'll be doing the one o'clock show. That's Steve Rhodes' time. So keep that in mind. What we're looking at here, leg E in the in the QQQ in the IWM. And there should be some digestive move at this particular point. And now that we can look at gold, because gold pulled back very sharply. It's come back a little bit. It's down 14 to 17.92. And the dollar, which should have moved up huge, it did move up huge, but it's, it's at only up 0.9 at, at 106.66. I think the, the dollar is in a, in a range now. And gold is trying to form some kind of support. I'm going to be back for the next hour, 11 o'clock. The... Uh, Crude oil hit the 200 period moving averages and bouncing. I'll be back in a moment for the next hour and check out the front page of TFNN for my webinar coming up Wednesday a week. I mean, this coming Wednesday. <laughs> 